there is a little bit of an exam crisis going on at the moment and you guys probably won't have noticed because we're not actually at exam point that's still about a week away but it could be on the day you walk into an exam absolutely prepared and you're told no actually the exam's not happening now it's happening later um, and I can see this leading to an increase in stress for you guys and an increase in cheating during the exam so what exactly is going on We have just over a week until exams start, so if you want to have some predictive papers that are based on the advanced information to really, really focus and help you get ready, then the link is in the description down below, as well as videos that have been modified to really, really focus on the bits that you need to know. It doesn't matter whether you're doing GCSEs or A-levels this year, you at school will not have sat external exams. Now external exams are different from um, internal exams like your end of year 10 exams or your end of year 12 exams because in those exams you probably had teachers invigilating the exams which means either kind of like you know your subject in the classroom your subject teacher um, sat at the front marking because they're very very busy people and they've been not paying too much attention to what was going on or when I was doing my GCSE exams teachers were allowed to invigilate and I remember um, my PE teacher walking up, and he had PE teachers, like male PE teachers, like this tiny short shorts, and he had really hairy legs, and he stood, like, obviously I was bending over, and he stood, like, here, and all I could see out, like, the corner of my eye with these, like, really, really hairy legs, and him tutting and walking off, and I'm going, like, that was not a helpful experience for me in my exams. Anyway, teachers are not allowed to invigilate exams. They have to be external invigilators for exams. Now when you sit in an exam, there are people in there to check you're doing the right thing at the right time and you're not cheating. These are the invigilators. They're generally external people who have no knowledge of you and no like prior conceptions of what you're doing. So they're generally unbiased and don't know the subject, so they can't go around winking um, correct or incorrect answers at people. These are the external invigilators. This is what you need for an exam except not this year. There aren't an, enough invigilators. Um, now there are probably two reasons for this because we haven't had exams for the past two years. Um, there were a cohort of people who invigilated exams every single year and they haven't done it for two years and they just haven't come back. Um, so they've had to find a whole load of new people. And the people that generally um, invigilate exams are retired people who might feel that they're a bit more vulnerable to COVID and don't necessarily want to spend weeks trapped in a room full of teenagers who might have a, be asymptomatic for COVID in an airless environment, putting, potentially feeling like they're putting their health at risk. So there are not enough invigilators to go around. So they have come up with four things to overcome this. One of the things that has been suggested, and I can see this being so horrifically stressful for people, is a later start to an exam. Now, exams are always allowed to vary the, the published start date of an exam by about half an hour. So, kind of like, you know, to fit in with school buses, to fit in with school bells, then they could push a nine o'clock exam to 9.30. Without having to tell anyone, you need to get on and do this. This is completely allowed. What you can now do this year is take that set of exam students and I assume make them put their bags outside, make them keep their notes somewhere separate and just keep them separate until later on when they have enough invigilators available, when they have space available for the exam to be sat. So for example, if the exam is scheduled to start at nine o'clock and they don't have enough invigilators at nine o'clock, they can only do it at 12 o'clock, that set of students who should be seeing the exam at 9 o'clock will sit the exam at 12 o'clock, but will have to be kept separate somehow from everyone else, which means they're going to have to take your phones off you because they don't want you checking social media to see what's on the exam. We don't know whether you're going to be allowed to use that time to revise. Um, we don't know whether you're going to be allowed to use that time to just you know, have drinks, have snacks, be allowed to do what you want to do. Chances are you're going to be sat in a classroom isolated separate to make sure that the information doesn't get given out in any other way however there is always a risk with that there is always always a risk with people starting an exam after people have come out of the same exam there is the potential they've mentioned to split cohorts so you could have half the year doing the exam at nine o'clock and then half the year doing the exam at 11 o'clock or whatever time it is 
with the second half of the year being kept separate from other students like I don't see a situation where they'll be allowed to stay at home until 11 o'clock because then the information would definitely 100% leak to them via social media um, I don't see that being allowed in any way at all it would have to be kept separate supervised in school somewhere but then the second group are at a disadvantage compared to the first group because you know they've had the stress of being sat in a room for two hours when they could have been just getting on with our exams so now teachers can invigilate exams which is massively unfair on the teachers because it's increasing their workload um but it also means that there might be some unconscious bias if you see two students kind of like looking up or maybe looking a little bit suspicious and you know one's a really good well behaved student and you know one oh, sometimes gets in trouble you're probably not going to cheat a teacher would probably not teach treat those um two instances equally whereas an external invigilator who had no prior knowledge of any of those students probably would treat them equally i know when i was you know sitting little tests you know teeny tiny ones that didn't really matter you'd walk over to a student look see that they'd written the wrong answer and you'd just stand in front of them and pull faces Um, so there is a big difference in a way that an external person who doesn't have any unconscious bias towards the people in the room and doesn't know the subject and a teacher who, you know, does have prior knowledge of the people in the room and who doesn't know what the right answer in the exam will be will invigilate the exam. There's also a lot of curiosity going on. They might just walk over and actually just be looking at what you've written during the exams because teachers desperately want you to do really really well so they want to see what you're writing so there is going to be an increase in that this year so the reason that um teachers were never allowed to invigilate is because of the unconscious bias and the potential for cheating and this year they are allowed to invigilate which means we are going to have more people getting away with stuff or being punished for stuff because of unconscious bias and an increase in potential cheating obviously not every single student every single school every single teacher would do this so I know it's quite French but there is the potential for this there is also the potential for remote invigilation like how is that going to work how how I just don't understand how this is going to work um, but th that is one of the things that they have suggested as an alternative to having actual invigilators in the exam hall remote invigilation um, Yes, crazy. I don't understand. Um, so this is a big problem. The other um thing that they've suggested is that the ratio, and this is like this is like the easiest, most common thing, is that the ratio of students to invigilators has increased quite a significant percentage, which means one invigilator is going to be supervising more students, um, which means it's going to be easier for students who want to try and cheat to actually get away with it. There, like, I can see so many problems happening with this year's exam period. So many, um, but there's so much potential for cheating increasing, so many people misinterpreting the advanced information and getting loads and loads of stuff wrong. Um, this exam period is going to be a little bit of a nightmare, but I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way, guys. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.